Right, I'm getting my studio ready. Hey everybody, this is Dimitri here from UH Studio. Last week I was a bit stressed and I did start to draw again mandalas. Let's see if I have one here to show you. I love drawing mandalas. I'm just trying to find one now. Okay, so here's one that I print out. I did them I, I do them all digitally and it is a, a really nice distraction beyond what's going on in the world at the moment. But besides managing the whole kid situation, working from home, I have a list of other things that I want to talk about. A, a series of projects that I started filming before the whole coronavirus lockdown, which is exploring architectural spaces from a first-hand perspective in a vlogger format, but also making architecturally educational at the same time. This space that it's always being used by organizers. I think it's probably not the right time to put this kind of content at the moment with the whole situation. Although maybe it is because people are stuck indoors and they want to know about the external spaces. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Having kids at home full time, it's full on process. It takes a lot of energy to make. And uh, what we see, this is basically going to be our exposure and this is going to be our however at the same time it does keep us fairly well distracted with what's going on in the world which i'm grateful for it is amazing that the world is sort of coming into one the common enemy is not a different country or a different nation or different kinds of people it's something that's not people at all and we're all in this together so that's quite exciting. Beyond that, the kids are really helping keeping us focused and balanced to not overthink this whole thing. I'm also doing a tutorial series for Blender 2.8 for architectural design. I'm very excited about it. We should have something under the wraps that will be released free on YouTube with the ability to purchase the assets separately to support what I'm doing. I'm also working on a full Blender 2.8 architectural design course so once you get past the beginners course there is an opportunity to grow more and to understand how blender could be used more for architectural design so the other thing i'm very excited about is that with being at home that gives me the opportunity to work a little bit more on tech reviews for architectural design like this guy here that I'm using at the moment for my notes, which is the Remarkable. So I have one coming up for this. I'm going to compare a couple of different mice for architectural design to see which one works best. And basically any tool for me is important to understand how we can improve the architectural design workflows. I'm going to look at the iPad because I do use it extensively for architectural design in addition to using a regular laptop or PC computer where I spend a lot of time researching all the different apps and what they do. So stay tuned for videos explaining that. Actually, there is one more thing that I want to mention. If you're home with kids or without kids, whatever your situation is, we have a wonderful opportunity to really up our levels, our skill level in terms of whatever we're really interested in. Go online, find a course that you're really interested in, research something new to learn, and invest in yourself while we have the opportunity. I think this is an excellent way to sort of up our skills a little bit. It also keeps us distracted from the situation that's happening outside, so we're sort of focused. Thanks for watching. Is that enough things to do? I don't know. I feel like I can do a little bit more. I've got a few things, the kids though, and work. But on top of that, there's all these super cool things that I'm really excited about. Well, if you think I should be doing anything more or less, please let me know.